so let's start with the image uh, I want to work with this image in the develop module I'm in the develop module and you will see here histogram uh, whenever you uh, whenever I uh, edit the image I firstly check my histogram for the image for particular image the histogram uh, tells about the tonality of the uh, tonality of the image uh, suppose uh, here the histogram is uh, more in the left side it means the image is underexposed if you get same thing uh, like this in the uh, in the in the right side it means that the image is overexposed like this if you get all histogram center means photo is well exposed remember all points if the histogram is in the left side then the image is underexposed like this I'm shifting the histogram and uh, if the histogram is in the right side means image is overexposed so it is uh, it is about the histogram only uh, if you work with the raw image then here are some options of you will find auto daylight temperature cloud it is all about temperature and tint if suppose if you are working with a JPEG image then you will not find all these features here because in raw file you can change the temperature of the image anytime at any at any step of workflow in the Lightroom suppose I have taken one image that is uh, JPEG then you will not find all these features um, suppose uh, suppose this one suppose this one is the image and you will not find any temperature features here here so always uh, if it is possible as always work with the raw image instead of using uh, instead of using JPEG so I always check temperature for each image every time and uh, your image may have a different starting point every image has the different starting point it may be start you can start from the exposure or any 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 point of the any point of the Lightroom suppose this is the image and uh, uh, this is under expose so I will pop up some shadows shadows will recover shadows in the dark part so click on here you can drag this point or you can you will get this arrow button if you uh, roll over the mouse uh, on the on the zero uh, I have click on this then I will rotate my mouse button then see here the shadows are recovered now this is before and this is after you can check here uh, the purview of the image this is before and this is after and one shortcut from the keyboard is is backspace with the enter okay uh, I have boost all shadows because I want some uh, no uh, no clipping of um, black points at this point and now I will increase white points here are some options like white and black white and black I always boost before boosting the contrast white boost light in the image as well as put contrast in the image uh, these two points exposure and contrast I will I I will check in the last and for every image I will do uh, I will do uh, correction in the exposure and contrast in the last firstly I will do work all these four points highlight shadows white and black white always put contrast as well as light in the image so what is the perfect value for this and it depends on you and uh, you can put you can hold mouse button on the keyboard uh, whenever you drag this point you will get some clipping here like blue you, are, you can see here it means the clipping is here in this point so I will reduce all values by pressing alt on the keyboard and similarly I will drag the white points so black black means increase the black point or decrease the like this I am boosting and the shadows are more recovering but I don't want to do the same thing but I want to reduce the value for the black 
means I want some contrast in the image so come here highlights my light is properly here and but somehow problem is there and uh, some areas are not uh, well exposed like this and uh, I'm getting lost of detail and then I will reduce the highlights then it will recover the details in the image now you can check before and after there is a lot of difference this is before and this is after this is before and this is after click on here okay now uh, this is the image that I want uh, with the highlight shadows white and black uh, 